Now, for you to burn fat and lose weight, you need fat. That statement is very true. Why am I saying that? Fats, and specifically saturated fats, the coconut oil, the lard, the tallow, the ghee, those animal fats, they are very necessary in your weight loss process. This is because fats are energy-giving foods. They are the ones that have double the amount of calories that carbohydrates can give you. Therefore, drop carbohydrates because you'll get the calories from fat. That is one. Number two, you can still get glucose from fats, which is basically gluconeogenesis. So you break down fat to either get ketone bodies or get glycerol that can be used to form glucose. So don't be fooled that glucose can only come from carbohydrates. That is not true. And number three, when you eat a fatty diet, fats are the only macronutrients that can co cannot cause a spike in insulin. Remember, if you're trying to lose weight, your enemy is hyperinsulinemia, high insulin in your blood. Therefore, you need that insulin low so that you start burning because insulin is a storage hormone. So anytime you eat a carbohydrate-rich diet, you spike blood glucose and then you spike blood insulin. And what that insulin does is it opens up the cells so that this glucose flows from blood into the cells so that it doesn't accumulate to cause you hyperglycemia or high blood glucose. But fat is the only macronutrient that does not cause a spike in insulin. This means when you're eating fats, your insulin levels are kept low. And that means you're actually starting to burn fat. You're actually starting to burn the stored fat from your system. You will burn this fat to get energy. You will start burning fat from the storage, from the fat cells to get ketone bodies. Ketone bodies are the best energy sources for your brain and your cells in general. But the truth is, our plates are always 80 and above percent carbohydrates. Therefore, we've exposed our system to too much carbohydrates because of the food industry to an extent that your cells don't recognize any other energy source apart from glucose because the end result of breaking down carbohydrates is glucose or fructose. So if we deny our body's glucose in form of carbohydrates, and then the body will not stupid because the body stored that fat that one day you will starve, that one day you will have a calamity so that you will burn that uh, fat to get the energy. So now when you fast, is the same case when you're eating fat because when you fast, there's no calories coming in. So therefore you start burning fat because your insulin is low. Fat is also working through the same mechanism. No spiking insulin, therefore insulin goes down and then now you start burning fat and you start losing weight. So don't ever be lied to that fats, that eating that fatty meat, eating those eggs in plenty, six to eight eggs a day, will cause you clogging of arteries because of cholesterol. Cholesterol is a good substance. It actually comes in to fix the inflammation that you're causing your system through seed oils, sugar, and wheat products. But we want to blame the wrong substance so that we justify the wrong substance, if you know what I mean. Therefore, stop blaming cholesterol. And fats are absorbed in the small intestines into the lymphatic system. Therefore, they cannot clog your arteries. Also, for those people who eat fatty meats or fatty diets, I'm putting that fatty diets not in terms of saturated fats. There are those people who fry their meat in seed oils and start dripping those oils. And you think that that is very good for you to add weight. That's a wrong way of uh, thinking about things. Now, that seed oil will cause inflammation to your system. And apparently, most of you, once you've eaten that uh, uh, fatty meal, what you do is you take a glass of maybe lemon water or a glass of warm water so that it can burn the fat. I'm putting burn in quotes so they can burn the fat. Now, stop wasting time. Fat is not soluble in water, whether hot or cold water. So as you drink that glass of warm water to dissolve the fat, you're wasting time. That fat will be carried all the way to the small intestines and that fat will be digested or be sequestered using bile salts. And bile salts are actually coming from cholesterol. So therefore, you also need fat to digest fat. Do you see how that is? Do you see how that, that connection comes in? So always consider fatty diets animal protein, vegetables, and an avocado. Those are the essential uh, foods for your system.